Welcome back to the Kempire Daily YouTube channel where you get daily and consistent hot topics in music, entertainment, reality TV, and more. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out when we have breaking news, when we go live, or when we upload. I wanted to do a quick follow-up. Earlier today, we reported on this Chrissy Teigen story. As you know, Chrissy Teigen came out for another apology where in which Michael Costello, the fashion designer, decided to tell his experience of being allegedly cyberbullied by Chrissy Teigen. Well, now people are slamming Michael Costello for some very derogatory things that he has said over the years. Let's jump into this. As you know, I like to cite my sources. So I'm going to head on over to the Jasmine brand. And they're reporting on this story as well. <clears throat> and I think. It's very interesting because not only did this person come out with a story, Leona Lewis came out with a story. But before we get into the Leona Lewis portion, Maxi J, another designer, black designer, shared a message in her stories, recalled an alleged encounter she had with Michael Costello in a fabric store. And this is what she said. Michael Costello got the nerve to be playing victim of being bullied, but called his self bullying seven years ago and called me a black N word B in a fabric store downtown. He had the wrong one, though, because I most certainly whooped his ass. Oh, Lord. Almost went to jail, too. Thank God for his mercy, because I certainly lost it. I never experienced racism before. All I knew to do was fight. But as I said to you in the previous video in regards to the Michael Castello accusations, I had already seen in the comments about people that had stories about him, about accusations about him, the N-word accusations, the, you know, being a person that says only certain sizes should wear his clothes, allegedly. But Leona Lewis, speaking of, decided to share her experience. And I want to show you what she posted on her Instagram story. The incredible singer, Leona Lewis. I think we should always preface this by saying that. So she posted this on her Instagram story saying this. I usually don't speak on subjects like this, but honestly, I feel that I have to say something as I've dealt with the years of insecurity from it. I don't condone any kind of bully behavior, and I'm sorry for what Michael Costello went through. I wanted to share my experience in 2014. I was asked to take part in a fashion show to raise money for charity. Michael Costello was assigned as my designer, and, and <clears throat> as an excited young woman, I flew all the way to New York and was so honored to work with him because I adored his dresses. When I got to my fitting, I was made to feel very awkward and uncomfortable as the dress was a sample size and he or his team clearly did not want to alter it to fit me. This came as a total surprise because weeks prior, I was told that they would make the dress work for me. At the next fitting, the night before the show, with no explanation at all, Michael refused to turn up. He no longer wanted to dress me, and he abandoned his commitments to me and the show, which made me well aware that I wasn't the body type required. I was so embarrassed and deeply hurt because I didn't like, I didn't look like a model size. I was not permitted to walk in his dress. I had to sit in the audience and was asked by press why I didn't walk in the show. I remember having to come up with excuses as I was so humili humiliated by it all. I feel like I have, I was made to look as though I pulled out and was being difficult. And as an, as an effect of those actions, I suffered a lot, both personally and professionally. The most hurtful thing is that it was it was to raise money for charity and this went against everything we were trying to do. I was left with deep insecurities after this and I've had to work hard over the years to love my body. I'm so proud of how, how curves are celebrated today, but back then it was different, it was a different story and there was hardly any re representation for women who were not a standard small size. I know that this, I know that his designs are catered to women of all sizes now, and I'm glad he he saw the light over the years. We all make make we all make mistakes. I know I have, but at this time, I feel that when people apologize, Chrissy, and show sincere remorse and re rehabilitation for their actions, we should embrace them and not try to kick them when they're down. 
I'm not discounting Michael's experience as this was an awful thing to go through and I wish him so much love and healing. I'm sure this will come as a shock as I never told him how this made me feel. But the pot calling the kettle black in this situation doesn't sit right with me. Bullying comes in many different forms. We need love. We need accountability. We need forgiveness. None of us are perfect. Ooh, that was beautifully stated, Leona Lewis. And I can appreciate what she's saying because it's a great point because he called out Chrissy Teigen earlier to yesterday saying that when he was going through a photoshopped uh, image that made it seem as if he was racist, she had called him racist. He had tried to, to let her know he, he didn't he didn't say those things. And I, although I do not agree with how Chrissy responded to him or the things that she said, like wishing him dead, I'll post the link in the description of this video so you guys can check that out in, in regards to what he said. But <clears throat> that's fireworks, y'all. It's beginning already. I don't know if y'all had this experience last year. It's, it's starting all over. It's not July 4th yet, people. <laughs> Look, reality... Reality, reality. Anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts on this story. Michael Costello calling out Chrissy Teigen. But now at least two women have come out calling Michael Costello a bully and racist. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comments and we will continue the conversation there. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload.